next little invention here solar cooker turntable I whipped this up a few months ago I'm going to show you how it works with a solar funnel cooker on top of this you could put anything on here the platform tilts and you can make the platform any size to go ahead and put like even a, like a GSO cooker on here. Tilting platform. And you can see by the shadow it's pretty much pointing at the sun right now and it's hooked down to the ground so it can be rotated easily and the wind won't blow it around here's the solar cooker platform with my new solar funnel on top of this I originally made a video about the Brigham Young University solar funnel it's like a three foot sheet of uh, cardboard with foil glued to it and just bent into a cone shape. Now I wanted to make this thing so I could build this out of hard panels in the future. So I sat down with Google SketchUp and went ahead and designed this funnel so that each of the panels it's made out of, 12 of them, are all flat so you can go ahead and cut these out of any kind of flat stock right now this is made out of poster board with foil glued onto it with 3M uh, adhesive and uh, what you can do is you can make this out of Luan if you want and put chrome vinyl tape on here which has a four or five year life outside and the base in there is the same size as the platform and I went ahead and screwed the funnel right to it the way you aim it without looking up at the sun, just look at the shadow on the ground. Rotate the cooker until the shadow looks even. And there you are. You're all lined up. Because you have a cone that's kind of rigid, you don't really have to worry about this thing blowing over in the wind. and the platform is attached to the ground so it isn't going anywhere even in a big side wind it's it's not going to move much at all and you can tighten up the wheels too so that it moves even less so you have to really kind of forcibly move it and the thing I use to boost the heat up around my cooking vessels that I put into the funnel is a two gallon glass cookie jar from Walmart these are made by Anchor Hocking in the US they fit right in here into my new funnel and you can see it's a pretty big opening it's a good eight inches across so it's 90 out here right now and I'm putting an oven thermometer inside to uh, get the air temperature reading and I've got a meat thermometer an old broken one here just stuck inside a mason jar painted black all right and let's cook it out here for a while okay it's one o'clock right now exactly and we're gonna see what temperature we can get everything up to in here I don't know if I can get any kind of a good reading from the outside here with my laser thermometer deal. It's been about two minutes. We've got 225 degrees on the air temperature inside. And I think 110 on the meat thermometer. And let's see, we've got our goose. And our squirrel looks on too.
Alright, 15 minute mark. The air temperature inside is 300 degrees. Pretty damn close to 300 anyway. Uh, you can see it's fogging up a little bit in there. And we've got 130 on the meat thermometer. It's been about 20 minutes. We're still hanging in there at 300 degrees air temperature. And we're at 150 on the water temperature in the jar. Now you can see part of the shade looks a little dark and you can see the sun really focusing on other parts. I'm pretty sure this funnel should be tilted forward a little bit more. But uh, tilted a few degrees more, this would actually work better. I haven't even really tried to aim this thing or anything like that. You know, I'm, I'm just keeping it lined up straight. Okay, that's a half hour. And I think we've hit the 160 mark. And to keep it aligned, I've been just walking over here and putting my foot on the wheel. I'm just turning slightly, keeping it lined up. Haven't had to move it very far. So in a half hour, moved about one wheel distance. You can see where I started. Okay, it's the one hour mark. Two hundred degrees and boiling. Okay, I just re-aimed it. Here's the starting point out here. And there's where we finished. In an hour of keeping this thing pointing straight at the sun. Very nice. So all you need is some wood, some tin foil, some dollar store foam board, and some brutal New Mexico sun. And one hour, you're boiling water.